Hi, I'm David Martin of the Marquee Group. In the car business, we get more than our fair share of complaints. And very often when customers have a problem, they expect a struggle in getting it resolved. You see it in their face and body language and cannot mistake it in their tone of voice. Put yourself in their shoes. At one time or another, we have all had dissatisfaction with a product or service and have had to confront someone about it. Do you recall all the mental conversations you had in preparations for the showdown? <laughs> it's almost like having a Broadway play going on in your head. First, I'm going to say this, and if they come back and say such and such, and I know they will, then I'm going to say, oh yeah, well take this. And we find ourselves getting worked up over what we assume will be a battle. When people anticipate the worst, it fuels the fire and magnifies the bad stuff going on in their head. So, what can we do to diffuse frustration and anger with an upset customer? Here are six key elements of conflict resolution. Number one, stay cool. Acknowledge that a mistake was made, preferably before customers find out on their own. Disgruntled customers expect you to deny that a mistake was made, and this can ease the tension. Number two, take the fall. It may not have been your fault, but buyers don't care whose fault it is. They just want their problem solved. So instead of pointing fingers, step up and accept responsibility on behalf of the dealership. Number three, let them vent. Now before you say, I don't want them to vent, yes you do. If they have anger to release, better to let them get it all out now so both of you can move on to more productive activities. You cannot have a sane conversation with an insane customer. Number four, propose a solution. Briefly explain what happened, how you plan to correct it, and what you will do to ensure that it won't happen again. Number five, give it away now. Your mistake may have taken time, money, or peace of mind away from the buyer. To compensate, give back something of value. And number six, follow up. Make sure the air is clear and that all is forgiven by sending a personal note in blue ink. Say how much you regret the error how much you appreciate the customer's business, and how much you want the chance to earn back their trust and keep them as customers. Now, there's a big payoff for doing this. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, 90% of unhappy customers will never return to your store. However, 95% will give you another chance when they have their complaints resolved and in a timely manner. I'm David Martin. Thanks for listening.